Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We need to look at Footmas Day 9 and Footmas Day 10, which is coming today. Talk about what happened on the market with the Sissoko and Acuna SBCs and everything that else came out on Saturday. And then focus on Day 10. Look at a couple of predictions and what types of cards could move on the market because of what's happening in FIFA Ultimate Team on Sunday, all right? So what first, I wanna look at the two SBCs that came today. Obviously, you guys know about Sissoko, right? Big time SBC, we're gonna look at him in a second. I wanna look at Acuna first. I mean, these Footmas SBCs, just, uh, the player selection has been decent so far. It's keep it's getting better as we move on, right? It's keep it's kept getting better as we have moved on in the promo, which is good. And I think that's not, I don't think it's gonna stop as we near the end. I think we have some big time teams um, you know, in the countdown of the finishing position in the different leagues, the top five leagues, uh, we're getting the big name teams in these top three last days right here. And today we're going to be getting a third place team from last year in the top five leagues. So we'll talk about that. But again, Acuna today, I mean, this is a really solid card. He, he's hold it club. I mean, hold it club for this card is, is crazy. We just did get the Belasi SBC. So we've had two left wings from sporting which is a little bit you know kind of a bummer if they would have made this card a left back i wonder if more people would have done it i mean we already had tagliafico but um i don't know just uh this card would be great as like a center mid too like i mean this this is one of those guys that you can put many different places in your team if you do want to use them and you do want to do them for a whole club card he's forty thousand coins to do that sbc so that's not terrible uh, right there for that one if you're if you're a sporting fan or a league nos fan or something like that we also got another Footmas Challenge SBC today with a Prime Mixed Players Pack. And I think that was it, right? I'm not forgetting anything, am I? I don't know. I'm not forgetting anything. Those were all the SBCs that we did get today. And then, of course, we got Sissoko. And that's what we have to talk about a lot today uh, was this Footmas SBC card right here. We want to talk about uh, the upgrade on this card a little bit. And some people, I think there's a lot of people that are on the fence for this card. Do they want to do it? Do they not, right? Because the price is coming in somewhere around um, 290,000 coins right now for the Sissoko SBC, according to Footbin. So he's basically about 300k. Uh, I did it from the club because I prepared ahead of time. I, I don't, I can't be asked to go calculate how much I actually did him for. But I did, uh, I did a club stock last night, which turned out to be very good because I sold a lot of those cards today. And made some decent money on that because uh, a lot of the high rates rose today and a lot of other areas of the market fell simply because of that SBC and the big name player that Sissoko is in this game. So I want to look at some of that stuff as well today. So is he, we, we talked about this before, right? Um, the center mids in this game, CDMs, are probably going to be the stuff that takes the hit because of this SBC coming out, right? So Terea took a hit today. He's down like 20, 30K. Conte is down like 20 or 30K. Uh, and I want to look at some of these cards' prices on the market at the moment because, uh, and using Footbin as well, like Conte, for example, this is, again, this is the sort of market movements that happen when you see um, complementary, not complementary, substitute. I get those two, I, get, I say those two in different ways all the time. Substitute items come onto the market, right? A French CDM center mid in the Prem that is a new SBC. People might go sell their Contes and do that the Sissoko SBC, which I think is what they did today. Conte was 270,000 coins early in the day, dropped down to 236. He's back up a little bit, 244. Um, if, if we look at a guy like Allison, uh, because this kind of happened with the De Gea yesterday, right? We literally, in yesterday's video, talked about this exact same market movement and, the, and what happens because of this. Yesterday, Allison got hit in price big time. He was uh, Friday. He was 90, he was 100,000 coins before De Gea's SBC dropped, he dropped down to 81K, went up to 85 in a few hours after that, and then back down to 80, and he's still kind of chilling, right? He was 80, 82K, rose up a little bit, but he's, he's still kind of chilling after the panic sell. Um, I think the Conte, uh, you, you don't really see it as much in this Allison SBC, because the, the De Gea was just kind of a good value one, I guess, and it wasn't as meta as a card as Sissoko is. Um, but I'm, I kind of think that the Conte and I think that other center mids in this game, um, especially this Conte, let me clear the special out of there. There we go. I still feel like this card could drop a little bit more. Um, he was 230 at one point today, and this is why I think it could drop a little bit more. If we search his card price at like the two, at the 59th minute, we're at 245,000 coins. 
all the ones that I see on here are like, they're like they're all panic sells, man. They're all a lot of them are panic sells. They're undercutting. It's, it's people deciding to do this SBC. I think there was a, a multiple amount of people when this SBC came out today that said, "I don't, I want to sell my Conte and I do want to do the Sissoko." But there's also some people that said, "I want to go buy Conte, right?" Because the Sissoko SBC is 300k and this card is 240k, 230k. Now, arguably, is this card better in game? I would say probably. Conte is is stupidly good. In the in game this year, I mean every year he is, but he's just super duper good. Sissoko is a beast as well, um, but a lot of people might want to have Conte and Sissoko at CDM, so that's a possibility as well. But what I did observe yesterday with De Gea was people, more people, when the UK wakes up today on Sunday, there's going to be a, another group of people on the game that are going to go watch YouTube reviews, going to say or listen to some other people's ideas. And is the card worth it is kind of what they're wondering in their minds. And there's going to be people that decide that it is worth it, right? Because it's an SBC. It's only there for a limited amount of time. And, you know, you inside deep down, you kind of want to do it, right? So you're trying to look for a player review. You know, you watch it to see if, if you shouldn't do it for sure. But I'm, I've watched one player review. And, I mean, it's all high praise for the, the new Sissoko card. So it's whether or not you just want to sell some cards to go do that SBC, which I do think people are going to wake up and do. That's the point that I was getting to. A lot of people will wake up in the morning, and this is evident. This is evident by the footbin graphs that we see with the market index, right? Let me show you this. Uh, I don't know if I can actually show you index 84, maybe. Some of the 84s and stuff from yesterday. Check this out. Check this out. So, this is yesterday UK time about midnight, right? So the, a lot of the 84s were rising because of the De Gea SBC was out and that was big time demand. They kind of dropped into early morning UK time as there was less people on the game. The, the UK and the uh, EU wakes up and look what happens. 84, the index 84 goes from 169 points all the way up to 188 points on the market. In between the nighttime overnight EU and uh, during the daytime when people are waking up and they're deciding, do I want to do this De Gea SBC before it goes away? I think that same thing is going to happen today with the Sissoko SBC. So I do think there's more possibility for a little bit of a sell-off on Conte. At least maybe people finishing the weekend league, like Saturday night when I'm recording this into Sunday, is one of the lower times on the market because people are finishing their weekend league games. They're getting those 14 wins, which is what a, people, a lot of people play to, only 14 nowadays. So they're getting those wins and they are selling their teams, getting some coins to do SBCs, right? So I do see this possibility happening tomorrow as well. So kind of watch your the 86s, right? Because Sissoko requires a few different 86 rated squads. Right now you've seen 86 is the, it went from 120 points to before the SBC today up to 165. And now it has slowly dropped down back to 136 for a lot of these 86 rated cards. Now, will it jump back up to 160? No. But maybe tonight if it gets down to like 133 or 134 and I, you might see some some deals on some of the 86 rateds, you know, around like maybe 15K for some of these, especially if it's an SBC card that could be used in another SBC on Sunday. We'll talk about those SBCs in a minute. Then you might have a little opportunity to, to buy, you know? So stuff like that, even for some of the higher rated cards, like some of the 88s and 89s, if some of these cards drop back down lower than what they were earlier in the day, it could be an opportunity to pick some of them up uh, and just kind of noticing that, you know, the SBC demand goes down at nighttime when most of the users in this game are asleep. So if you're waking up and seeing this, maybe go take a look at some of the 87s, 88s, 89s maybe, and then 86s as well. And then also take a peek at the 83s and 84s because since those weren't really required as much today, I know Acuna was, you know, needed some of those cards, but not as many people did the Acuna SBC. Some of those 84s are starting to get down to a lower price range, which is... Uh, in a range that's getting kind of tasty maybe for uh, considering the SBCs that we do have coming up this uh, the rest of this week as we head into Christmas, right? So again, there was a lot of sell-off today on some of the center mids in this game. I mean, some of them that are totally unrelated as well. Like I, sh I had this Allen card on my transfer list. Allen's down like 30,000 coins today. He was over 300K this morning, down to 288, 275-ish at like some snipes because uh, just the how good that Sissoko card is in this game and how many people want to use that card. People sold a lot of their other center mids today to link him up into squads and to link him up with that sort of stuff. So the Sissoko SBC was a big time market movement mover today. And if you're still on the fence of whether you want to do it or not, 
I did it because I'm a Spurs fan, right? You guys might be making fun of me in the comments as you're watching this video. Like, dude, why'd you do this? It's a Soka card. Well, I knew it was coming. I planned ahead of time. I bought some cards. I knew that I wanted to do this SBC. Uh, I rock a lot of Spurs guys in my team. I am a Spurs fan, but this is kind of just who I have untradeable, right? I was gifted an untradeable Erickson. We got the the untradeable Ndombele, and then I bought this Harry Kane card, which is fantastic. Look at that goal ratio, man. Fantastic player. Great finishing. There's my little Spurs plug right there. But uh, yeah, that's why I did Sissoko today. If you guys are really on the fence of whether you want to do it or not, if you prepared for it and you club stocked for it and you didn't sell your high rate of golds yet, maybe you just do it, you know? Maybe you just do it. I'm not, I can't make the decision for you, but just kind of weigh the out the positives and the negatives and honestly, just have fun. You know, you can use that as an excuse to do the SBC if you want, but just kind of value, are you going to have more fun if you do it or are you going to have more fun if you buy a Conte or buy an, an Allen CDM card? Just kind of measure it out. Look at your team. Does it make sense for you? Or is it a collector's item? Some people like to collect card in this game. Whatever whatever your, your uh, reasoning is, you can make that decision along those lines. Use flipping to look at prices and everything like that. Make the smart move, all right? Just, it, it'll, whatever way you go, just make sure you're happy. That's the big point, all right? It's fun making you happy on, in this game. This, this is your ultimate team. Make it yours, all right? That's my recommendation on that so let's move into today's predictions right we're talking sunday predictions for footmas cards now according to the countdown so we have the count up of the nation in uh, the ranking by men's national team right and of course we've been looking at this video just about every day counting down on what sbcs we could see today we're looking at the 10th day of footmas which is placement third right so we'll have the 10th 11th and 12th days because there's 12 days of footmas and this is the this is the countdown, right? We're on the tenth day, the Tottenham SBC, SBC. That is why we got Sissoko today. So this is what I'm thinking for these last couple teams right here. Third today. Now there's a couple leaks. I guess you could say I've gone through, and you probably saw those players when you clicked on the thumbnail, right? Furland, Mendy, and Dobinson Sanchez are supposedly coming today. Now the Dobinson Sanchez seems a little bit far fetched to me, because you think about we just got that Murillo SBC. Uh, because on the, the Columbia is the nation for today as well, right? So the Columbia, Columbia is on the nation for the count up and, um, on the countdown, we're looking at Chelsea, Real Madrid, Leipzig, Lyon, or Atlanta, right? So some big name clubs. I doubt we'll get somebody from Chelsea since we just got Tottenham today. Um, but you know, I, I almost doubt that the leaks are correct on Dominson Sanchez as well, because two Spurs players in a row would be crazy. Two Spurs SBC footmas players in a row would be nuts, um, but that would be a cool card if we did have it on the game. So the Furland Mendy SBC is one that I do feel a little bit more confident about being from the La Liga. We haven't had a La Liga SBC for the past couple of days. You know, we had De Gea, we had, yeah, so we haven't had a La Liga, like legit SBC card for the last like two days-ish. So I do think that Real Madrid Furland Mendy would be a big card that we could see on this game today. And what would you say? What's going to take a hit on the market because of this? Is there anything that we can invest in or that we should sell ahead of time to make sure we don't lose too many coins on this? It looks like this card's down a decent middle, uh, decent bit already. How much is Furlan Mendy? Wow, he is down a decent amount. So I wonder if the um, the Rusillian SBC has already hurt this card's price already. That's why he's down. Or the Rusillian Objective, I mean, not SBC. The Rusillian Objective has hurt this card's price a little bit, but can you imagine this with a footmas boost? He'd go from an 80 to an 83 or 84, whatever EA wants to boost him to, and he could get a massive boost, maybe even like 80 defense, which would be insane for this card. The five-star weak foot, four-star skills, arguably the best gold left back in the game. Some people say he's the best left back in the game. So if this SBC comes out today, you're going to see a lot of people want to go and do it and maybe even make some sort of a triangle with Sissoko, Mendy. And then you can think about the plethora of center backs you could put in that center back position. We're talking Varan, Langley. You could even do uh, a Ramos because maybe you have Pique and you have Ramos and you have Mendy. So the Real Madrid links to this SBC are crazy. Uh, that you could see some market movements on some stuff like this today. And I'm just saying, again, this this would be an SBC that would be sort of like Sissoko, right? Maybe they value this Furland Mendy SBC at like 250K or 300K, kind of like they did Sissoko today. 
I still think there would be so many people on this game that would want to go do that SBC because Ferlen Mendy is just so good in this game. He's got all the hype. He's got all the links. He's in so many people's teams. For goodness sake, he's an 80 rated gold card that is kept before the Rusilian objective. He was like 20K still. He has kept his price at 20K for an 80 rated gold card through like we're in, almost in the end of December. And there's an 80 rated gold card on the market that is still 20,000 coins, now 15. That's insane, honestly. He has survived all the pack weight of Black Friday, many weeks of weekend league rewards, people upgrading their teams past Freeland Mendy, people getting icon swap, Roberto Carlos. Like, that's just a testament to how good this card is that people still want to pay 15K for him on the market. So, that's another reason why I think his SBC would be very highly valued in this game. So if we're talking some specific investments or uh, stuff that you might need for the SBC, again, they've just been requiring one player from La Liga or one player from French or from France, not French. One player from France or one player from La Liga has kind of been like today's Sissoko SBC. You need one player from the Prem. You need one player from uh, France. So that kind of stuff, I think, might be just kind of make the easy links, right? Maybe you get a Real Madrid player in there, too. Maybe they require a Real Madrid player for that SBC. That could be a possibility. But I would just say look at some of the La Liga stuff, right? This Isco is 17K right now, which is kind of high. But, you know, that one at 16K, I maybe could have bought that one. That would be a card that you might want to look to invest in or just some other La Liga 86s, 85s, maybe some 84s. I feel like the Ferlin Mendy SBC would be a little bit more expensive unless they do like three squads and do like 84, 85, 86 or like 84, 86, 87 maybe. I don't know, but that would be, I would expect that SBC again to be like 200 to 300,000 coins, sort of like the Sissoko SBC today. That's where I would kind of rank that Ferland, Ferland SBC value. So other stuff that could rise with that, of course, I talked about Ramos, but I think Varane would be the number one culprit. Um, whether you look at the Inform, which I'm kind of interested to see what this price is. What is the Inform Varane center back price at? Am I shooting too low here? Yeah, he's not at 300k anymore. He wasn't 300k when he was around in packs. How much is the Inform Varane? Because that could be a card. Of course, it's out of packs. So that means less supply on the market at the current moment that you could see move a little bit in price. Wow, this guy boomed. This guy really boomed 350k ish right now for this Varan card. So maybe you see this card go up a little bit tomorrow. If not, you probably see the gold card go up. I mean, at the very least, how much is the gold card? How much is gold Varan? 160,000 coins, 158k. So maybe look at Flippin, kind of compare this price because this would be like the A1 link investment or complementary investment to a Furland Mendy SBC that I think a lot of people would be interested in. Uh, and again, it, when you're looking for the, the either the compliments or for the investments in the, to, you know, for the SBC for that card, look at some of these high rated man. Of course, a lot of them went up today. We talked about the 87s, the 88s that have gone up today. Some of these have trickled back down low, right? Uh, where's Tony Cruz? Tony Cruz is, uh, we'll look at his Champions League card, sure. Because it says his Champions League card is 31K, which is really only up 3,000 coins from what it, uh, yesterday where it was, it was 25K last night. He went to 32 and he's down to 31. So if you see some of these cards dip back down to more of a, of a price that's like, okay, you know, he's still up from where he was before the Sissoko SBC, but it's not up a ton. Or like maybe you see this, if you see like Gold Cruz at like 20, maybe like 29,000 coins, you're like, man, he went to 34K last night. Uh, maybe that is a buy before an, a Real Madrid SBC does possibly come today. So again, though, as I look at them in the 83s and 84s, those are starting to go lower. I think the ones that are going lower, like we looked at the index 84. I'll look at that again really quick. The reason why you see this index going down a lot is maybe not the floor on the 84s is getting low, but some of the ones that are like high in value that went up to like seven or eight K is 84s. Those are starting to dip back down to more of like a 5k range, but those are the ones that you want to invest in sometimes, right? Depay at 4.2, we have the possibility for, if you if you don't think it's going to be Mendy or Dominson Sanchez tomorrow, then you maybe look at Depay because we could get a, a SBC from Lyon. They got third last year in League 1. Brand for 4.5K, Carlos Alberto for 4.5. Like, if we look at some of these cards, Carlos Alberto for 4.5K as a center attacking mid, what was he in the past few days? Friday. He was up at like 6K, whatever SBC went away, down to 4. Yesterday, he was kind of all over the place. Now he's, look how much he's dropped down, man. Down to four and a half thousand coins. If you can see, pick this guy for like 41, 4,200, 
that's a dub in my opinion. And again, like Lucas Lieva, 4.8K, that's kind of low. I mean, we don't see much of the French guys in here right now. We have Rufier at 4.4, uh, but possibly tomorrow uh, we do get a La Liga SBC. Then maybe you look at, uh, is there anybody from La Liga in here? La Liga. I do not see anybody from La Liga in the cheapest 84s. We have some Prem guys and some Bundesliga, but that's the kind of stuff that you could look at. Look at some of the higher tier 84s. Like, where's my boy Javi Martinez? This is a 84 rated card that I love looking at every single time there's a lot of SBCs out in foot because this guy goes nuts in price because his links are insane, right? He's Spanish and he's Bayern. So he links to a lot of other high rated. So right now he's around five and a half K, which usually this card's at like four and a half K when he's, when he's kind of cheap, right? So if I see this card start to dip under five K tonight or whatever, maybe even on a bid, then I would, I would consider probably picking some up or at least picking one up and throwing in the club because again if we do get a, um, a la liga sbc you might need some spanish links stuff like that so that's kind of how i feel about the furland mendy sbc it's a lot of people would want to do it right and you're going to see some more market movements like left backs probably dropping maybe your team of the year nominee robertson would drop more maybe your alexandro would drop more because if they make that sbc good people would probably go if they give again if they give the good upgrade and they make it a decent value for the hype that a Furlan Mendy would have in this game, I think there'd be a ton of people that would want to go do that SBC. And that means you'll see the substitute other the substitute goods on this game. So other left backs, French left backs especially, but like all other left backs in this game, a foot miss Furlan Mendy would be meta enough and good enough that people would sell whatever left back they have. Maybe even some icon left backs. Like that is a possibility. You would see some icon left backs get panic sold today that you might want to, you know, pick up on that and, and catch up on that for sure. And then again, Dominson Sanchez today, it's it's going to be a Colombian player because that is what, where we're at on the count up for nationalities. I do believe we're on the count up and it should be, um, it should be our boys from Colombia. Like that's what we should be, that's what we should be having um, today for the SBC. So I do hope that we do get Dominson because that would be sweet. And of course, if it's a Dominson SBC and if it's priced very well we do not have very many specials from the premier league in terms of center backs in this game we don't have a lot of informs or special cards right Mendy is one of the most used center backs in this game from a premier league standpoint just because there's not very many specials right we have an inform vbd we have an Mendy, and then there's really not many others that are like meta or like super duper usable so uh you know laporte has a couple cards but Dobinson would have over 70 pace i think uh, and have really good defending stats. So if they give him a nice boost, you might see a lot of people want to go do that Dobinson SBC. And again, if it's cheap enough and it's really good, you might see this Otamendi drop, which would be a great card to pick up in the panic because he's so rare and links to a lot of guys in this game. And it's very popular. But you also might see some link investments rise up, right? Maybe um, maybe a guy like Serge Aurier from Team of the Week number one, who was a very highly used right back in this game earlier on in the year. That could be a card that goes up. Maybe Road to the Final Yoris would be a guy. I would say that would be a very good pickup, in my opinion, especially because he's been panic sold because of the De Gea. This card was 140-something when De Gea was out. Looks like he's 160 now, so he's returned a little bit. Back up maybe like 15K from where he was. So that could be a good link investment to a Dominson Sanchez. Just kind of trying to get your minds right and trying to talk to you guys about what kind of market movements you could see on Sunday based on the SBCs that we do see. So again, it's going to be a Colombian player today, and it's going to be a player from either Chelsea, Real Madrid, Leipzig, Olympic Lyon, or Atlanta with the leakers saying, I put leakers, I do this because sometimes they're right, sometimes they're wrong, right? But I just like to try to share that information with you guys because that is expected. And there's always leaks with footmas, um, whether it's actual leaks or whether it's fake. Like some people said we were getting a Guero today and we got Sissoko, right? Some people, the Sissoko leak leak was from a long time ago. But some people said it changed to Aguero. So we ended up getting the Sissoko. So you can't always trust what's happening. So we'll see exactly what happens today on foot. But if it is for Lynn Mandy, expect some big market movements because that's a left back that a lot of people would want to drop in their team. So again, another day of foot miss. Hopefully we get like another uh, foot miss um, challenge SBC as well. I enjoy these. I haven't done them yet, so it's kind of plastic of me to say that, but I'm definitely going to do these packs because uh, I would highly recommend doing these as well, you know? Maybe you pick up a, an 85 or an 84 that you can throw into an SBC 
and that lowers your cost for that SBC. But should be another fun day of footmas. Only three days to go of footmas, so we're kind of getting to crunch time, right? The SBCs have gotten better and better so far. I feel like a Furland Mendy and Sissoko would kind of like, that'd be like a big statement for Sunday content. So that is, uh, I hopefully, hopefully we do see those SBCs today. All right, boys, if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the food accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.